from ordinary people who are doing extraordinary things. From tech startup CEOs and marketing professionals to authors, investors, and sales trainers, this show will be packed with information to help you level up in life or business, taking you from on fire up to lava hot. Get ready to burn this mother down. Hello and welcome to Lava Hot Podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Connell. Today, we have Jonathan Gehrig with us talking everything networking. Real quick, I just want to give you some background about Jonathan. He's a successful entrepreneur with over 16 years as a business owner. He has been a top producing a top producer across multiple industry verticals and has helped thousands of sales professionals excel in the industry. He has traveled the nation training companies on sales and leadership and spoken on many stages at leadership and business functions. He has turned individuals with no sales experience into top performing, making multiple six figures in less than 12 months. He is a master of referrals and has taught others how to also be master of referrals. Jonathan, I appreciate you taking the time to be on the show. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Joseph. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I, I'm really excited to kick into this episode. Um, networking, I think, is a vital part of business. This entire show being about business and operating and entrepreneurship and even sales. And to be able to have somebody come on that's an expert in the, the, the category of networking is something that I'm really looking forward to. But yeah, if you can just kind of, you know, give us a little bit of your background and and tell us how you've got to this spot where, you know, networking is just a, a good part and piece of your business. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for the intro. So I, I started networking uh, at a young age. You know, Facebook started while I was in college. I started my first business in 2005 while I was in college. And the networking aspect of my life really started as a competition between friends. Uh, I, had a, I had a college neighbor of mine that we actually went to high school together, but we were in dorms right next to each other constantly competing with each other. And we started off by competing in who could get the most friends on Facebook in 30 days. And wow. so I just went out there to win a competition mm -hmm. and I yeah. networked with college students in every single class. And I added over 400 people to my Facebook friends list in less in 30 days. And that's what really kicked it off for me. And when I started my first business, I knew that I didn't have a lot of time to build that business as a side hustle while I was swimming in college, while I was working a job four nights a week, and while I was in school taking 17 hours plus a lab. So I knew that I had to be creative in order to successfully create an income outside of everything else I was currently doing. So networking actually enabled me to scale that business pretty rapidly be put mm -hmm. on stages, start to actually help people who needed help understanding how to network properly, ask for referrals properly, which I consider referrals being just a part of networking. And so I really yeah. just hit it yeah. off from there. And everything I've done in my career in business, you know, I've worked in multiple corporate jobs and, and been in different niches across different uh, uh, industries, uh, commercial real estate, banking, uh, credit card processing. I've been in, uh, I've worked for medical services facilities. Every time I've had a corporate job that re they all required a college degree, which I'm a dropout. They all required experience in the industry, which I didn't have. But because I knew somebody, because I made a friend, because I networked, I got those jobs and someone took a chance on me. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. So, you know, I think when most people, when they hear the word networking, they're probably going to picture and think of, um, you know, like a networking event. Me being an individual that can kind of shine in certain scenarios, like when I get in front of a camera, I, I do okay, I think. It's not really my strong suit. It's not something I enjoy doing, which I think is why I committed to doing a video podcast was just to break out of that. Uh, but when it comes to like the actual networking in like a, you know, a networking event, what can individuals do to maybe uh, advance uh, their opportunities when they go into those settings, especially for those that might feel, you know, they own a business, but they're a little bit more introverted, if you will. Um, you know, what, what are some of the, the, the tips, the tools, the trades that, you know, that, that you would recommend? Yeah, great question. And I'll start it off with a statement about myself. I am an introvert. I'm extremely shy. I grew up a large kid, made fun of, 
didn't have a lot of friends. And I, by nature, I'm a shy person. So what I figured out through the process of myself being a part of all these different networking groups is that networking as we know it has not been working. And we experience it when we go to a networking group and someone sells us on showing up because there's 25 other hand-selected individuals there who can give us referrals or there's 500 people who are going to be at an event. You have multiple levels of people. There's four, right? You've got Mm -hmm. one person who's that doer. They're the one that says, you know what? I've got a mission tonight. Collect as many cards as I can. Now, they may not do anything with that, those cards later on because they're, they're working on their vision of their business. Maybe they'll call one or two. Maybe they'll have one meaningful conversation, but they're going to collect business cards. The next person, they're going to follow direction. All right, everybody stand up and go make a friend. So they do that. They do just that. They stand up and they go make a friend. And then they find someone that they connect well with. They'll have that conversation. Then you have the group that's really just, they're, they're sort of a, a little a little more susceptible to analyze the situ analyze the room a little bit more they're specifically looking for that one thing that joint venture that partnership right so there's multiple right, levels right. of people and and what we have to understand is that the, the 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 success journey that we're on the process of success is is an intentional one so we have to know ourselves before we can then go out and figure out how we are going to properly network to scale our business so once we know who we are Then we can go figure out, well, who are the people, who are the pieces of the puzzle that I can bring together to help me succeed? And so understanding that networking is a relationship building game. And if you're in business, if you're a professional who's looking to move up, you're in the, you are in the business of networking. You're in the business of people. So networking, it has to be a part of our DNA. And unfortunately, this networking and as we know it has not been working. Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah, I was actually about to ask a question because you had said that previously that networking as we know it isn't working. Um, what is it that you train or teach that is different within your your networking culture that you have? Just just so we know. Yeah, great question. So first yeah. of all, we teach the four archetypes of people. And once we teach you the four archetypes of four archetypes of people, we help you to we arm you with that information. And with one or two questions that you can ask every person that you come in contact with, making network fun again, making networking fun again, Mm -hmm. right? So you know the questions to ask so that you can figure out what is this, what's the type of person that I'm dealing with here? And then you can adjust your method and your message based on the type of person you're having a conversation with to guide the relationship. Because with networking, the goal is relationship. And why is the goal relationship? Because people buy from people they trust. And people yeah, yeah. trust people that they have somewhat of a relationship with. So now I've got to ask, what are those two questions? Oh, so this is this is something that actually comes down the pipe when we're actually in Quest Connect and we're educating people on how to ask those questions. Uh, but it's individualized, right? So it's based on the individual and what type of person you are. But, tr- right. but truly, the two questions could be, how did you purchase your last car? And how did you dress yourself today? Right. So I say it's personalized because you may not want to ask that to a, a female if you're a male. You, you may not want to ask, <laughs> well, how did you dress yourself that way? So there is some education that goes behind goes behind how to ask a question. But, uh, you know, another one is how did you buy your last computer? And with those indi- with the, their response can give you an indicator of what type of person they are. Interesting. Do you mind, would you mind elaborating on that? So, you know, let's say that that would be the question. Uh, how did you purchase your last computer? How does that help you identify how to structure the rest of the conversation? Sure. So if you have, if I said to you, how did you buy your last computer? And you said, well, I've actually bought a used computer for my friend. Well, I know you're the type of person that likes to have fun. And if you're not having fun, then you've lo- I've lost your attention. And I can, and I've got you as long as I've, ke- as I can keep your attention. And why, why is that? Why is that true? Well, if someone's buying a used computer, they don't care about it being shiny, the best. They don't care, care about impressing anybody. They truly just need something so they can send some emails and check their social media. So yeah, they're the more, they're that fun type. They're the type of person that's really out there. They might be out there looking for a joint venture or partnership, but they're just want, they're just here to have fun. And is once you and, and someone this this type of business owner, uh, you can look at the company Patagonia. That's that's mm-hmm. the type of business owner he is. 
Gotcha. Gotcha. So um, talk to me about Quest Connect, you know, for, for those that are listening, if they're interested and they're just thinking, okay, well, what is this Quest Connect thing? How do I get plugged into it? How do I start going about the training? Just share, if you can, you know, what it is exactly and how somebody could get in contact to try to try to get involved in Quest Connect. Absolutely. Quest Connect brings the fun back into business and provides you with a simple map to help you scale your business with networking. And of course, if you're a professional, it can help you land that next job, right? So we actually teach how to network in a real time situation where you're actually getting access to information in between those networking calls. So we do a networking live Mm -hmm. in a virtual space right now. Eventually we'll have in person, but we do this networking in a virtual space and we do, we have round tables where we bring it to the round table and we have you work on a specific topic that by the end of the call, you're going to leave with referrals every single time by the way we teach you how to ask for referrals. So this process of networking requires a little bit of a foundational build because we've got to clear out this knowledge we have of networking that we've done up until this point, right? So we have to clear that out. So that way you have a better understanding of why am I networking? How am I networking? And how do I build relationships properly? So that's what we take you through. We put them through a framework. Right now we're starting people off in a seven-day tournament, right? We're making it fun. They go Mm -hmm. through a seven-day tournament where they're learning how to balance their work life. They're learning how how to figure out where they're at, assess where they're at in their business, in their career. We're teaching them things like their unique selling proposition, what sets them apart from the masses, how to network to scale your business, and then how to build relationships to build your business. So we educate them on those things. And then when they show up to the live, they've got that foundation and they can come prepared and we can give them real live feedback from the marketplace on that unique selling proposition, right? In a safe place so that they can go practice out in the marketplace later on, but we teach them a fun way to deliver their pitch, their unique selling proposition to more people more consistently, but more importantly, how to leave every meeting with referrals. Absolutely. And I would imagine that that carries into other areas of your business. So even if it's not in a network setting, but you have past clients that you've worked with or um, individuals that you've done business with in the past, an easier path to be able to ask them for referrals. Um, just from what I'm gathering, just by understanding the the right talk path, the right questions to ask, or maybe you might even have some sort of understanding of an individual that you've done business with already, where you might be able to apply some of this going forward. Is that correct? 100% but I'm going to add that extra 50% on top of it. You see, referrals, when asked properly, can be asked for from people who didn't buy, from people who you just met, who are prospects, who are client calls, past client calls, future client calls, all of the above. All of the above. We can truly ask for referrals every time if we frame it properly. And, and, I, and I'll give it to you if you want it. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to, (laughs) there was no way I was going to let you off the hook on that one. I had to definitely ask, okay, I need to understand how, if I'm prospecting and it wasn't fruitful prospecting that individual, how do I now turn that into uh, a conversation of him giving me a referral? I've got to hear it. All right. So here's the thing. We give this away for free, right? We put it in our actual advertising when we're doing our outreach and there's a, there's, there's more that goes into this. We can build on this and we can improve it and make sure that you leave every meeting with five, 10 and 20 referrals every time, right? And this isn't just something I'm guessing at. I've mastered this, but the other people that are in this in Quest Connect with us have mastered it as well. And so here's the framework. When I'm having a conversation with someone and I'm truly trying to build a relationship and it, even, even sales calls, every sales script I've seen from companies, they write out a sales script they have in their rapport building. What is that? Building a relationship. Your goal is to build a micro relationship to hopefully capture enough trust mm-hmm. so that I can then go into my pitch and, and navigate their needs, their pains, and their wants. Right? Right. Before I close out the conversation, whether they've said, I'm ready to buy, or I'm ready to go to the next level, or you're just networking, or it's a past client, you're just catching up with them. I'm going to close out the conversation with this one statement. And it sounds like this. 
Joseph, it's been great catching up with you today. I wish I had 10 more people just like you to have conversations with every single day. Yeah, based on who you are and who you know, who do you know that I can just have a conversation with? Very cool. Now I'm quiet. Now I'm quiet because that next piece now, like I said, there's some more building blocks to this so that instead of getting one or two referrals, we get five, 10, 20. But that next part is so important because professionals truly mess this up because they'll break the silence. And why do we break the silence? It's uncomfortable. Right. So if I say based on who you are and who you know, who do you know that I can have a conversation with? If I'm in person or I'm on a Zoom on a video a video recording or a, or a video uh, chat room, I'm quiet. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to look down and prepare to write names down because what the brain is doing is their brain, the prospect, the past client, the networking individual, their think their brain has automatically connected people who I know based on who I am. You've complimented them. You've thrown in a pattern interrupt. You've adjusted their momentum cycle from this to now networking to actually get referrals. So now they're thinking of that first name. And I don't care if they give me Aunt Sally who lives in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. I am going to write down that first name and say, thank you. And who else? And I'm going to continue that process. So that next part's important. We got to be quiet and let them break the cycle. Let them break the silence with that first name. Very cool. Um, so I, I want to go back to something that you mentioned. You mentioned a tournament um, that that you have, and uh, as part of um, the networking. And I want to see if you could elaborate on that a little bit. Absolutely, yeah. The Quest Connect tournament is is meant to bring the fun back into business building and networking. So mm-hmm. we put together the seven day tournament in order to help build the foundation of this idea of networking that we believe should be out in the marketplace. The way we believe you should be set up properly in your, in, in your frame of mind to network properly. But a lot of times people will start with this, hey, you've got to work on the mind, body, and the spirit. Well, we go the opposite way. So we're going to help you establish where you're at personally so you can constantly bring back that compass to true north, mm-hmm. while at the same time teaching you the framework of analyzing where you're at in business, in your life, relationally. So the the idea and the purpose of the tournament is to prepare you to go and network. So if somebody just joins the tournament and they invest in just the tournament for seven days, one, we're doing competitions. It's truly a tournament. They're going to be, they're going to be graded on everything we're asking them to upload. We're going to ask them to get a little uncomfortable, but we're going to ask them to grow their business and increase their sales Mm -hmm. and have a chance to win the tournament. So during that time, we make it fun. And at the end of that seven days, we're going to invite them in to a networking event so they can come in and try it out real time. And that's where we're also going to announce the winner. Very cool. So uh, if you don't mind me asking, like what's some of the criteria that goes into the actual tournament itself? Um, Is it like a certain level of referrals that you bring back, certain level of um, networking or sales? I'm just curious, like what the criteria is. How do you win the tournament? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we we give we hand out daily action items, right? We hand out daily activities. For instance, we just ran a tournament, and I and I uh, challenged everybody to go out and practice their new and improved unique selling proposition to just two people. It wasn't a big ask; it was just two people. And then I had them come back and report how did it go, right? And so then I'm grading them. They're getting points for that. Them people logging in, they're getting points. People uh, watch the video, you're getting points. You upload your video of you doing your unique selling proposition, you're getting points. And so we're grading the 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 action items that we're having you turn in that are documents because we're having you fill out some paperwork as well. But then we're just grading the fact that you showed up. And then when people actually come to the stage and they they do the scary thing and we say, hey, we want to bring someone up. Who wants to go first? We're keeping track of that because we're turning this into a true tournament. Who wants to win this thing? And you're, you're having that chance to win while at the same time, if you're implementing this into your business, you're increasing your sales during the tournament. Gotcha, gotcha. So if somebody wants to just sign up for the tournament, um, how do they go about doing that? Questconnect.com. Quest, questconnect.com. Go there and I guess you set up a profile and... Um, is there a new tournament that's ran like on each weekly basis? 
Yep. So it's so th- let me give you the full website, thequestconnect.com. And when you go there, it's going to have you click on the click on the link saying you want to check out what level of business you are. So we want to analyze where you're at in business. And then you're actually going to have an opportunity to then sign up for one of the next tournaments. And there's multiple dates laid out. Very cool. Okay. So, you know, if you're about to approach vacation or something, you could select one that's maybe a few weeks out. Um, So once somebody, you know, in there, they're in the tournament, they can get past that seven days. Then um, I guess there's maybe a more advanced level to your program. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. That's when we're going to give them an opportunity to come in and join our networking group and join this journey. Right. We want them to come on this quest with us and we give them an option of joining us and being a part of these regular networking groups with other businesses. But we're going to be working on the business while we go through this and they'll be following through our company's mobile app, the ultimate business quest while they're in the networking group. Very cool. And I downloaded that um, uh, about a week ago and started going through that. I what a really cool way, like, you know, being a guy that has invested a lot in different training programs and, uh, you know, I've been on programs on Kajabi and um, uh, Teachable and so on and so forth. This was a very cool interactive way to be able to learn different things um, business related rather than it just be the old tired and <laughs> tired and tried method of just watching a video uh, in in Kajabi or you know, whatever platform there is out there and you just kind of rattle through a bunch of them. It just made it a lot more interesting. Um, but I, I do want to go back real quick to the tournament because I'm curious, like is, what, what type of, is there prizes that are associated with the, with the tournament itself? There are, there are prizes. So it's going to be a different prize every time. Uh, sometimes it might be a cash prize. Uh, sometimes it might be a shield or a sword or something fun like that, but we're going to be doing different prizes every single time we run a tournament. Very cool. So I think I'd be foolish being a guy that's in business and in sales to not sign up for one of these next tournaments that are coming up. Um, I'd really like to go through it and, you know, potentially as we, you know, release this episode and, um, you know, start dropping it out there. Uh, maybe we'll have to do a follow-up of some sort, even if it's just on social, just to go through what I experienced in that seven day trial uh, seven day tournament rather. And, uh, you know, just give my, give my experience of it. Love that. We're all about the real time feedback. We want people to come in and experience business at the level that they truly wanted to, right? We started our business to have time freedom and money freedom. And then what happens? We get a little busy and we look back and we say, this isn't, this hasn't been as fun as I thought it was going to be, you know? So that's what we've tried to do is we've tried to really create an environment to help people scale their business through referrals and networking, while at the same time learning through the process how to establish their business to be exactly what they wanted it to be when they set out on this quest in the first place. Very cool. Very cool. So um, is is there a spot, uh, do you have any sort of online community as well uh, in social, like Facebook, things like that? If somebody is just looking to try to connect on social, Um, to initially maybe get some additional information? Absolutely. So you can actually look up the Quest Connect on LinkedIn and on Facebook uh, for the communities, the online communities where we've got there. Uh, Then we're also, we have Instagram and we've got TikTok getting ready. By the time this goes live, we'll have TikTok running as well. But as far as the community feature goes, yeah, we're on on Facebook and on on LinkedIn. Very cool. So, you know, as we get towards the end of this episode, and uh, I I just want to say I appreciate you coming on and definitely dropping some uh, some of the nuggets on, you know, things that I know immediately I'm going to start to apply uh, within networking. I feel like I just got like the 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 teaser reel (laughs) of you know, really what you you guys start training and implementing and telling individuals to start doing in their business and everyday lives, you know, is is there anything that you would like to share in in addition to what you've already dropped um, as we start to close out this episode? Yeah. Let me just share some testimonials, right? Because I want to, I want to share this because the, uh, the networking as we know it right now uh, is, is sort of a, it's a task, Right. And, and that's why if, if it's a if it's a nighttime networking, it's a if it's an open bar or, or it's a free appetizers, we're a little more enticed to go shake some hands, rub some elbows. Uh, but for most personalities, it's the, it's an uncomfortable place. 
Uh, and, and we're actually hoping for someone else to kind of bump shoulders with us. So the part of referrals, right? So I've had, I've had people, I uh, had an individual who had been in business for 12 years as a financial advisor. He had never properly asked for referrals from any clients ever, never intentionally asked for referrals. After working with us, this guy left a meeting with me and he went and was very honest with one of his clients of 10 years. And he said, hey, I'm being asked to ask for referrals in a different way. And I've never asked you for referrals before. Do you mind if I practice with you? You know, at this point in time, I feel like I've given you enough value that I need help just understanding that my clients are okay with this. And the guy said, yes. So we asked him for referrals the way that we teach in that very networking, relational build way I just shared. By the right. end of week one, he walked out with 23 referrals. So he had 23 oh, cool. referrals at the end of week. Now, why is that important? Because before that, he had maybe been getting two to three organic referrals a month from people that just had family members or friends that said, who can I call? But that client that he got his first referral from, from intentionally asking, said, I wish I had given you referrals before. I just never thought of it. So we teach referrals in a non-pushy way, in a, in a way that helps them believe that you're just going to have a conversation with them and be as relational as you just were with them. So then I have stories of, of clients who literally thought they were masters at referrals. Oh, I get referrals. But when they adjusted their language, they went from getting two to three referrals per meeting to 20. Wow. So it just, it doesn't matter what level you're at. We can ask for referrals. It doesn't matter if somebody says, no, I was cold calling just last week as a way of training a team. Mm -hmm. And I had someone mm -hmm. say no. And I did what I exactly, what I just said, I did ex the exact same framework. And the guy said, no, I'm not interested. And then I said, great. It's been great chatting with you. And he gave me a referral. I wow. got a referral. So, so what I would say is that it, whether you are just going to listen to this or you're going to come check out Quest Connect, you're going to check us out online and go in deeper and go on this quest with us and let us work together to work. We see we build businesses together. That's the whole idea behind Quest Connect. We're in business to build businesses together. It's a lonely island that a lot of times we feel like we're on. But if you yeah. just take what I just shared with you, you will increase your business. If you just start doing that one thing, and all you get is one more referral every time you sit down with somebody, I truly am happy that we left you better off than we found you. Absolutely. You know, you, you, I identify with the individual that you just mentioned too, the, the testimonial, because that's me and my business. Uh, for the longest time, either people would, you know, reach out to me as, you know, somebody referred them to me or, it would just happen organically. It's never really been like a structured way of me being able to ask for referrals. And I could tell you right now, that would have a big impact on my business if instead of getting one to two referrals on a monthly basis, and I started to increase that to about 23 referrals, I would be a significant boost in, uh, in business and in revenue. I have seen it. I have seen it uh, increase people's business by $100,000 in the first 30 days. So this just this one, just this one thing, right? And this is just one of the areas that we cover in networking because we believe in intentionality, which is what we think is missing in networking. Intentionality. A lot of places will say, hey, give a referral first before you ask for one. Well, listen, if I if I asked you for a referral the same way I just shared with you on here, you're you're gonna catch on. You're gonna catch on, right? By nature, I'm gonna be thinking about referrals for you, but I'm gonna be intentional and control the controllables, my actions and my attitude. So I, I love that you shared that because truly, I, I had a I had someone last year that took this and we showed him the next level of intentional referrals, and he collected 600 referrals in a month. So it, there's there's more to this, right? There's more levels to it, but on a simplistic level, what I just shared will change any business and any career. Because if you're trying to move your way up, all you're doing is this one thing. You're taking someone to lunch. You're taking an executive that's in a next position up, or you're taking someone at another company to lunch. You're having conversation. Hey, who should I have a conversation with? And they start to give you names of people that can put you in those positions. So I could sit here and walk you through stories all night about everybody that I've met because of this type of networking, and it would blow your mind. However, on a simplistic level, keep it simple, make it fun. Yep. 
I'm going to ask one follow up to um, for right after you ask for that referral. Let's say you get that 23 referrals. What would you recommend would be one of the better ways to be able to reach out to that referral? Oh, you're, so you're taking it next level. And I'll tell you the most referrals I've ever gotten in one sitting like that, exactly how I just asked was 48. Wow. And the individual stopped me and said, you know what? Go to my LinkedIn. You tell anybody to reach out to me and I will have them talk with you. And I will tell them that you are my recommendation, right? So I got 43 and here's the process. There's, there's more behind this. There's a, a, some framework that needs to go into it. But if you're sitting down with someone and you're getting 10, 15, 20 referrals, we want to go back to the next thing after we've gotten the names and we want to ask, okay, how do you know this person? And how do you know this person? Then we go back and say, and what's the best way to reach out to this person? What's their phone number? Great. And, and are they, if, if we're going to take it another level, level deeper, right? We have to gauge the situation. We have to mm -hmm. gauge the environment. Do I have more time? Do I have a few more minutes to go into this? Or do I just need to leave with what I got? If I need to leave with what I got, the last thing I always close with is, Joseph, do you mind if I just mention that we spoke? That's it. Yeah. I'm not going to wait for you to reach out. Even if I go back and say, hey, would you mind reaching out? Let them know I'm going to chat, uh, chat with them. I'm going to reach out to them. I don't wait. I never wait. And I don't tell them I'm going to wait. And I tell them, actually, I'm not going to wait for you to reach out. But if you wouldn't mind, send a text message, send an email, let them know I'm going to reach out. And then I call. Now, the how I call is a whole different. There's a script involved. There's a way to actually uh, call that individual so that it's conversational relationship building. But I will tell you that it leads to business. It leads to business. Absolutely. Yeah. I can't imagine having, um, you know, a, a variety of seemingly warm referrals of individuals that you can reach out and contact and then have somebody that you can reference. It's significantly better than picking up, a, you know, a phone book or, or going on Google and trying to make some sort of prospecting call. And what I like about what we're talking about is that it's adding to your pipeline in a way that isn't adding a significant workload. I mean, this is just a, a follow-up to the end of a conversation that you're already having. So that seems like a, a, a way better method to be able to scale your business, but to also grow your network at the same time. 100%, because using, yeah, as you said, your net worth is directly related to your network. And so we teach people how to intentionally and incrementally use this to scale their business, find their team, find their round table of advisors that should be in business with them, right? Working with them to help them scale their business, but also how to, how to, uh, how to work with your children, how to work with your spouse. All of this goes into it because if, you, if we're not having fun in life, we're not going to be having fun in business. And see, we will actually build out this entire framework for a company. We do have a consulting division called Quest Armor, right? Shameless, short little plug. I won't go into details outside of the fact that we do implement this for teams. Like if there's someone who has a full sales team and they've got a sales manager and they need some actual sales systems built out for them, the scripting behind this and how to go yeah. into their book of business and pull thousands of thousands and thousands of hot leads right out of the books. We do that and we do it with hand, some hands-on. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Well, Jonathan, here's what I'll say. Uh, this has been a wonderful interview. I wish that I could interview more people just like you. <laughs> and as we wrap up, I'm absolutely going to have to ask you if you know any individuals that are just like you that I could interview on this show. And uh, I don't want to ask you for it formally here on the show. That way you're not giving me any sort of names uh, as we're recording. But uh, I, I just want to say I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to come on, talk networking with us. I'm looking forward to signing up for uh, the Quest Connect, the tournament. I'm looking forward to that aspect of it. But more importantly, I'm looking forward to seeing how I can start leveraging conversations I'm already having and turning them into more opportunities. Absolutely. And here's my answer. I've got at least five people to give you, at least awesome. five. So Very the cool. answer is yes. I was already thinking about it coming into today and I was hoping that you would practice it live on the call. So I'm so glad you did. Make sure we connect and I'll get you at least five names. Absolutely. Well, uh, before we wrap up, I just want to make sure that uh, 
everybody has an opportunity to, you know, go on to the website. That was thequestconnect.com. Correct. Correct. And um, for social media, if they want to follow you or they want to follow, um, you know, just the the company in general, where would you recommend everybody to go? Yeah. So if you're, if you're, uh, you like Instagram, you can just look up the Quest Connect. If you like Facebook, the Quest Connect. If you like LinkedIn, the Quest Connect. And I am Jonathan Garrig on all platforms. Very cool. And then TikTok is launching by the time this episode goes out. Um, if you don't have TikTok, I'd be very surprised, but uh, I would imagine you guys are building out a ton of content. It sounds like, I mean, just seeing the the video quality that you guys have within the app, I would imagine you guys are about to really start, you know, dropping some content there. Absolutely. And I'm on TikTok, Jonathan Gary. You can find me on TikTok. You'll see me on there and uh, follow some of my stuff. So for sure. But yeah, we'll have Quest Connect ready on TikTok by the time this goes live. And it's going to be really, really valuable to your business and your life. Very cool. Awesome. Well, Jonathan, I appreciate you taking the time and uh, I look forward to getting on to the tournament and going from there. Awesome. Thanks, Joseph. Yes, sir. You've been listening to the Lava Hot Podcast with Joseph Connell Jr. Do you want to level up your business in 2022? Then visit us at golavahot.com for a free marketing analysis. Oh, yeah.